So Hot Toys have released their 1-6 scale Boba Fett from the book of Boba Fett and that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Boba Fett from the TV show The Book of Boba Fett. So this is $275 if, uh, well it's on Sideshow, it's $275 and if that is your go-to retailer, it is on waitlist if you kind of care about that type of thing. Of course you can get it uh, over overseas as the Americans will say or basically um, in, you can get it in Hong Kong, you can get it in a bunch of other places. So. Maybe just uh, do your research and look up good, reputable resellers, distributors, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, my first impressions of this is, it's a fantastic looking piece, but it's rare that I see a Boba Fett armor that I don't actually like. They're a bit like the Iron Man armors. I, you know, there's, there's so many of them and they all look, or the vast majority of them, or should I say, yeah, majority. More of them look better and look good and stylish than the ones that don't. There's only a few there that I might maybe have one not have any interest in. Now, even saying that, do I have every single 1-6 scale Iron Man figure? Of course not, I don't have the money for that. Uh, also, I don't really like all of them enough to actually get them, so I cherry pick, that's what I do. I pick and choose and cherry pick and pick out what's important, rank them, pick out your favorite suits, and that's, that's what works for me. But a lot of people out there, they get every single version of Darth Vader comes out, or every single Iron Man that comes out, or every single, in this case, Boba Fett that comes out. So this particular piece, Although it looks well, I think it very much is one for the Star Wars completionists or, you know, those uh, diehard Boba Fett fans or maybe if there's people out there who are diehard, are diehard fans of the show. I know that uh, it wasn't very well received and I don't think it's a particularly good show. Um, although there were some there were some gems in there. But look, just uh, to full disclo disclosure, the, the lie of the land is I've got the original... Well, it's there somewhere anyway, it's behind me. Uh, yeah, the Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary... Boba Boba Fett because, you know, it's Empire Strikes Back, it's the best Star Wars movie and that's the one that I picked up. However, my favourite look is actually the post Sarlacc Pit Boba Fett from the uh, the heavily battle of the damage armour when he reclaims his armour from uh, Mandalorian Season 2. It's just strange on this particular show that he was, like, that is the, the, the best, the most deadly we've ever seen him smashing stormtroopers up with that uh, gaffy stick and that's before he even got his armor back and then when he got his armor back he just took out the entire battalion including the two ships, we got to see him fire the rocket and stuff but then in this show here, he walked around with his helmet off, he got attacked by like, uh, you know, guys with sticks and um, he was very, very just basically benched on his own show so I can see why people wouldn't want this as well uh, but the armor does look fantastic anyway let's take a look at it first of all just have to acknowledge the fact that that Fennec Shand head sculpt is fantastic and they look really really well together also the blaster here that you get that doesn't come with that um that uh, post Sarlacc pit one you know the Boba Roba 2 pack fantastic 2 pack I know it gets a lot of gets a bad rap but like for me when you look at it, that scene was the the best action we've ever seen. The best action we've ever seen from Boba Fett. Um, and that armor as well, being that it's so heavily weathered and battle damaged, I think that adds a bit more realism and character to the actual armor. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll die on that sword. I think it's a, it's a fantastic uh, two-pack. Right, so obviously it comes with the jetpack, the Boba Roba 2-pack one was magnetic. I'm hoping this one is too as well, because I know the Empire Strikes Back one has these little hooks and it's very, very annoying, whereas the magnet is just a simple fix. Uh, I think the uh, the Mandalorian, the Beskar Mando, the original Beskar Mando has the magnetic jetpack and I believe the Chrome one does as well. Pretty sure the Chrome one has a magnet magnetic jetpack. But if you look at this, this looks stunning. Like a few things just to point out here. I love the way it has the viewfinder down. I just think that just, you know, when the viewfinder goes down, you know he's gonna fire that rocket or something like that. You've got the rocket still inside in the jetpack. You've got those um, flame effects. They're hit and miss in this particular image. They look very, very toyish. However, I have used some of them before and they're actually quite good. Like the uh, the flamethrower effects are quite good for like say, uh, the, the, you know, the Mandalorian figures, the, the Din Djarin figure himself and other Mandalorian styles. I think a flame to flame comes with obviously the incinerator trooper and the Cad Bane there as well. They're quite convincing. Um, and these flame effects from the jetpacks usually look quite good. I think just the way it's uh, photographed here, it looks very, very toyetic. It doesn't fit in with the rest of the shot. Look, I love the green in this. I love the shape of the armor as well. He seems to be carrying less weight. It's almost like they slimmed him down for this particular, um, this particular figure. Because I know that the 
the Boba Robot 2 pack, that one, the you know the, the battle damage version, he was definitely carrying a bit of weight. He had the kind of rock on that dad bod. And I thought that was kind of cool though. He was kind of a beefy boy. And with that as well, it seemed to be a bit maybe extra padding inside there to give him the feeling as if he's got a bit of gut. And I thought that was pretty cool. Also, that armor he essentially put on over the Tuscan Raider robe, so the pants are baggier, and I really, really like that. But anyway, we're not talking about that, we're talking about this. Color looks good, jetpack looks good. Uh, hope I'm pretty sure it's magnetic. Helmet looks great, the little pitting and the weathering as usual. The visor looks super. Love the way the viewfinder comes down there. That blaster now as well, that does not come with the Boba Robot 2 pack, so that's something that I. Uh, yeah, like I'm gonna have to accept that I won't have unless I want to, you know, pick it up. But then it's not gonna be screen accurate if I do pose with it. I love the maroon gauntlets, and I love the kind of pop of yellow on the left shoulder with that. Uh, I believe that's uh, is that mud horn. I believe. Right, so that looks good. Yeah, again, that flame troop, flame, not flame trooper, flame thrower effect looks pretty good. Just noticing that gaffy stick he has there as well. He also got that smaller pistol. The belt is different as well to the kind of bandolier style belt that comes with the uh, Boba Robot 2 pack. Um, this here, I presume this Mandalorian is the just the chrome version they had, the one that was kind of a bit more weathered than people would like. I've seen a lot of people using alcohol and stuff like that in their figure to remove the weathering. Not sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, I suppose if you're doing that, you've got to make sure that I suppose after you've used the alcohol to get rid of the the weathering that you give it a you know good clean to make sure that the alcohol isn't in there just cutting into the rest of the paint or chrome um i think that's a bit of a sketchy pose there to be honest just doesn't look dynamic at all to be quite honest with you these two look fantastic together like that that could definitely draw you in like if for me now like that chrome man that was definitely on the wish list or definitely on the radar um but if I have to do that, then I've got to sell the Beskar, and we, you know how, I suppose I don't have to sell it, but the looks are too similar to for me to justify the two of them in the collection at the one time. And there's pieces that come with that set, which I really like, so if I was committing to doing that, I'd still want the Hover Pram, because I'd want to sell the set complete, but then I'd want some sort of a Hover Pram, so maybe perhaps get the Grogu accessory pack, because that would make sense, because you have this chromed out version of Mandalorian, you have all the bits and pieces that comes that I would get the deluxe version, and maybe pick up the... Uh, that um yeah grogu accessory pack because it comes with that hover pram from season two but they the two of them look stunning together and like that's definitely a a pull factor towards uh getting a if you have one of these maybe getting the other maybe if you have the chrome mando and you want to pose up with this especially if you don't have a boba fett uh they look super together yeah i look there's nothing i don't have anything negative to say about this particular figure like it's the show that kind of puts me off like you know it's that being said i do have the cad bane behind me because it's funny like how the best episodes of Boba Fett, episode 5 or 6, really didn't feature Boba Fett that much. And when we did feature him, he was walking around with his helmet off or he was, you know, having asthma attacks or whatever. He's in the back to tank. Um, yeah, so like it's, it's funny, the best parts of Boba Fett were not Boba Fett, to be to be honest with you. I gotta, I, I gotta say that these two look stunning together. And of course they did have that dual... Uh, in in episode seven, like whenever they're fighting off, that they went into that kind of very western style gunslinger type fight. Um, yeah, still though, five and six, thirty episodes for me of this particular show is like Mandalorian season two point five. Of course, you got the skinnier pants here, and that a lot of people prefer that. I have to say, I do prefer the Tuscan Raider baggier pants. Um, look, all in all, this this thing looks stunning. Uh, you got, you know, just what's not to like. I mean, the pop of green, the helmet, the visor, the pitting, the jetpack, the viewfinder, that blaster he comes, that rifle, the maroon uh, gauntlets. I really, really like that. Of course, you got the color of brown of the holster, comes with a pistol as well. Looks great next to Fennec. Looks great with Cad Bane. Looks great with the uh, Chrome Mando. Yeah, look, it's all good. And if you like the show and you don't have a Boba Fett or maybe Bo Boba Fett diehard, this is definitely uh, probably one for you. But uh, no, I have the Boba Fett I want. Got to be disciplined here. So that's it. That looks great. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're picking this one up or not. You can also follow me on Instagram and on X. That's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck.